Okay, I will go with you, crack. The name is the quality of God. What Allah mean? As long as it's a quality, just to show how stupid you are. What Allah mean? As long as it's a quality. Do the, if Allah is a word meaning God, does not give us a quality because Shaitan is God. <laughs> Shaitan is God too. Shaitan is the God of this world. You know, your statement is just a statement of a kid. What, what, what is the quality? You can say, if you say noble, well, yeah, we know the quality. If you say high, we know the quality. If you say, but Allah have no meaning because this is not an Arabic word and have no meaning in Arabic. It's just a name of an ancient God, the Muslim. They took it from people before them and they adopted. Otherwise, give me what the quality of Allah. What Allah mean? You keep saying God. I mean, that's really stupid. You just said Allah is a quality, and now you say is, it is not a quality. Allah is not among those names that are of his quality. I mean, this is stupidity. You just say you were trying to convince me that Allah is not a name. And now you are saying Allah is not among those names. You said Allah, look, I mean, look at this guy. This guy, he, he say text that he oppose himself. Look at this. The name simply his equity as God. But you just say to me that Allah in the second text, Allah is just a word meaning God. So it should not be part of the 99 names. So why Allah is the first word in the 99 names if those are the quality? <laughs> Mental. If the 99 names are the quality, then Allah should not be there. You see how stupid you are? You are saying to me, Allah is not among them. But have you ever heard of a Muslim saying, even Muhammad him said, as God have 99 names and he start with Allah. Can you show us from the Bible where Jesus says, I am God? Every single verse in the Bible, Jesus says, I am God. Each time Jesus says, I am, he is saying, I am God. The word in English, when you say, I am, this is represent, I am Ahe or Yahweh. He is saying, I'm God. You know, when Jesus says before Abraham, I am, he is not using the word, I am, I was. No, this is the same word, given to Moses, when Moses asked God, when he met him, what I will tell my people, what's your name? He said to him, tell them, I am. That is a not, that's not a word mean I am. Because you are a foreign person speaking a foreign language, you have a foreign translation, so you think that I am mean a person, just I am. No, I am is what God described himself in the Old Testament speaking to Moses. He did not give him any other name or other, actually it's not even a name, other other title or other description. I'm not giving you interpretation. Did I say interpretation? That is the name of the God, you stupid. <laughs> that is not interpretation. That what Jesus said. This is what the God said to Moses. I am. I am. <laughs> Moses says to, to God, what I will tell you, my people, what I will say, what's your name? He said to them, he said to him, go and tell them I am. You said to me, give me interpretation. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I find I find Muslims really are like astonishing, hilarious. Yeah, you think I'm giving him Ibn Kathir? I'm not giving you interpretation. I'm giving you what what. Uh... <laughs> <coughs> uh, 
But anyway, uh, this is John as an example, not limited. John uh, first. If you read actually anywhere in in the in the in the Bible in uh, uh, any like any chapter in the Bible, not only John or Mark, any etc., uh, you will find if you have little information or little knowledge, you will find that the names in the Bible none of them is a name, none of them. Uh, when the Bible speak about God, uh, like we cannot find really one place in the Bible where the Jews or the Old Testament or in the New Testament, where the God described by a name, because the Jews and the Christians, they, uh, uh, you know, they consider God uh, is too holy to use a name for Him. It's like it's an abusive even to call God by a name. For he is too holy, and there's no name can describe him. That's why you see the Jews, they and even the Old Testament, they use words like Hashem. Uh, you know, there's many, many words, you know, uh, Elohim, Hashem, Adonai. So all those is for one reason, is just to avoid to use the name of God in vain or with disrespect. So they, 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 they put a fence. In the language between them and using that word, the Muslim because they, the the name of their God is meaningless. Even the Quran says, uh, like you can use the name of Allah, uh, taking false oath, taking false oath. So you can lie, swearing by Allah, and it's okay no problem in the Old Testament and in the New Testament you cannot use the name of God in vain when the Messiah asked the, the Jews what you say about Christ who is he the Jews they said he is the son of David. The Messiah, he said to them, well, if he is a son of David, then how David, he called him God. All the Jews, and even in the New Testament, we see that when the, when the Bible described the Messiah, Describe him that he is a son of Mary or to Joseph, etc., 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 and then goes all the way to David. But then Jesus, when he speaks to the Jews, he say, "What do you say of the Messiah? Who is the son he is?" And the Jews right away they give him the answer. I said well he is a son of David and you know for the Jews uh, that is the most honorable name to receive to be the called to be called the son of David and you will see Jesus he don't see an honor in that why because David is nobody to him he is the Lord and God of David so when Jesus said to them so why David he called him God the Jews did not dare to answer and that is a very clear uh, you know word from the Messiah uh, that he is God you know he refuted the, the Jews I am not uh, I'm not proud to be the son of David you are mistaken I am the son of God I'm God himself otherwise why David himself he called me God and he worshiped me and the word is so clear it's not like interpretation 
you know, if I am, if he is, and here you will see the Messiah talking about himself as if he is not, uh, as if he is not, uh, you know, not the person we are talking about. You know what I mean? So he's asking them, what do you think of the Messiah? Well, what we think of the Messiah, he is the son of David. And you will see that this is an evidence from the Old Testament. The Muslim, they will say to you, uh, well, where in the Old Testament even says that the Messiah is going to be God? And even the Jews, some of them, they say to you, uh, where this uh, the Messiah is God? Where you get this from? The Messiah, he will not be God. Yeah, we are waiting for the Messiah, but he is not God. But as you see, this is a very clear, clean-cut verses in the Old Testament and the New Testament, proving that David himself, he praised the Messiah as God and worshipped him by his spirit. What does that mean? Because the Messiah did not come yet in the, in the flesh. <clears throat> anyway, uh, you know, uh, each time the Messiah, he says something. When he say, I am the light, he just said, I'm God. I am the light of the world. The Quran copied Jesus. We ask the Muslim, where, uh, how, what is Allah? They say to you, he is the light. Okay, but this is what Jesus said. Who is the truth? Ask the Muslim, they will say to you, Allah. If there's anyone, is earth is the truth? They say, no, only Allah is the truth. But Jesus says, I'm the truth. Who is the life? They will say, Allah. But this is Jesus. Who is the resurrection? Or the resurrector? They will say, Allah. This is Jesus. All those are description. The false Muhammad, he stole from the titles of Jesus. And yet, they say, where well, Jesus said, I'm God. Do you see the hypocrisy? So, can Muhammad say, I am the truth? No. Can I say, I am the truth? No. Can you say, you are the truth? No. Who can say, I am the truth? God. Okay, so when Jesus says, I am the truth, oh, he did not say he is God. If we go as an example to John, as long as we are in John, I don't know if we can jump this one faster than this. Okay, we go to John 8. You will see Jesus here, and this is in the Aramaic Bible. It says, and this is a clear cut words I am the living God, I who testify about myself and my Father. Who has sent me has testified about me who is talking the messiah they said where is your father yeshua answered and said to them you know neither me neither my father if you had known me you would have known my father also he spoke those words in the treasury as he thought the temple and no man sized him for his hour had not yet come and then they say to you where jesus says i'm god show me we continue here we see in the same chapter jesus said again i say that you have shall die in your sin for unless you shall believe that i am the living god you remember i told you each time jesus says i am I am is not a word mean I am in English, the same. Jesus saying, I am the living God. Remember that. When Jesus says, I am, he is not using the word I am, the one you know in English. He is saying, I am the living God. So when some translation, they say, it says only I am, they did not show the word I am the living God, they are doing a mistake because they are this is a mistranslation for what is the original aramaic or hebrew is i am the living god you shall die in your sin jesus said still the abdul is not convinced we continue 
you know it's all over I mean it's in the front of us uh, if you go to the end as an example the Jews they were saying to him oh they said here Abraham yeah, he said Abraham your father desire to see my day who is talking the Messiah and he saw it and rejoiced so Jesus saying to them Yeshua that Abraham he saw Jesus he witnessed Jesus but all of us we knew I mean there is a way you know like we are where where is the Messiah he was born when and when Abraham was exist the Jews they were saying to him you are not yet 50 years old and you have seen Abraham Jesus said to them timeless truth I speak to you before Abraham would exist I am the living God and the Muslim they will come to you tomorrow and he will say it doesn't say that CP I challenge you to find me one verse in the Bible Jesus says I am God and this is the link if for those who would like to save it good And we can find tons and tons of verses and etc. Isn't it Jesus when his disciples said to him, Why don't you show us the Father? Who is the Father? Who is the Father? The Father is God, right? Why don't you show us the Father? And that's it. What Jesus said to, the, to his disciple, I am with you all this time, and you do not know me. The one who saw me, he saw the Father. I and the Father is one. And then the Abdul, they say to you, where Jesus says, I am God. I mean, can Muhammad say, the one who saw me, he saw Allah? This is not interpretation. This is a question. Can Muhammad say, the one who saw me, he saw Allah? The Muslim, they will say, no, this is kufr. Will Jesus say that? He said, if you see him, you see God. If you know him, you know God. And then those potatoes, they say to you where Jesus says, I'm God. Hypocrite liars. Show me one verse. Benefitter. I trained the Christian to tell me one verse in the Bible where Jesus said that I'm God worth of me. Uh, isn't it this is funny <laughs> uh, hilarious you know the Muslims are funny like the Muslims are like a bunch of kids they they learn the commercial song and they keep repeating it and by the time they think this is a Quran that this is God talking you know it's a commercial one he said Show me where Jesus says I'm God worship. So why the Jews they want to kill him? Because he said that he is a prophet. Actually, if you read the Quran, you will see how stupid the author of the Quran. According to the Quran, the Jews they killed the Messiah, the Messenger of Allah. The Jews they say they killed the Messenger of Allah. I mean, who there? Just to show you how stupid Muhammad is. The Muhammad he claimed that the Jews they worship Allah, which is proven in the Quran to be not true. But we will go with him. So if they believe in Allah, how the rabbis they will make the crowd agree to kill someone he is the prophet sent by their God. <laughs> this is stupidity. Look, look, look at this. They say, the Jews, we killed the Christ, Jesus, the son of Mary. Look how many stupid statements he just made, this mad man Muhammad. The Jews are waiting for Christ. How they will say, we killed the Christ? There's not a single Jew dare to say, I will kill Christ, because they are waiting for Christ. Right? 
They are waiting for Christ. There is no single Jew will say, oh, I killed the Christ. Nobody will kill the Christ. They were waiting for him. The messenger of Allah. So they are confirming that he is the true Christ and he is the messenger of God. And still they want to kill him. Uh, this is that he's saying. You find one translation that match your Christian belief. That's false. The Aramaic is the most accurate book, my friend. And this is a translation. This is uh, like a... Uh, uh, actual word by word translation more accurate than the rest so it's not up to you same time all translation doesn't matter each time they say the word i am is the same as you read in the orthodox book orthodox bible not even the christian bible the orthodox jews you will see that i am present yahweh i am is yahweh so you are an idiot <laughs> and look at the hypocrisy show me one verse in the Bible saying that Jesus says I'm God okay let us forget about this when Jesus says the one who saw me he saw the father in all translation any translation you want it's the same how if we see Jesus we see God uh, Sharifa Mikal saying, as part of the first pillar of Islam, the issue critical as Islamic claim that God of the Bible, Yahweh, and Allah is one the same, that we all therefore worship the same God. That is a false claim because if we have the same God, then we should have same nature. The God of Islam is not a spirit and he has no spirit. This is number one. So, if the God of Muhammad is not a spirit, and our God is a spirit, so how we have the same God? Take a note. You can search right now in Prophet Google, peace be upon him. Do Allah have a spirit, or is he a spirit? You will see all Muslims agree that Allah is not a spirit. If you go in right away from the beginning of the book, book of Genesis, you will see the God of the Bible is speaking about his spirit. There was no creation yet, except God and his spirit. That's it. All right. Then the second difference between our, our God, Yahweh, and their God, their God broke the Ten Commandment, which God gave to Moses. So if we have the same God, we should respect the Ten Commandment. The God of Islam teach the opposite. He teach paganism like it's in black stones. The God of Islam teach uh, 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 fornication. The Bible says you should not wish a woman of your brothers. Muhammad, he took even the wife of his own son, not only a brother. Muhammad have sex with the children. Muhammad, the, the Bible says that you shall not lie. Muhammad says you can lie in three cases. Uh, 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 you shall not fornicate, you shall not kill. Muhammad, he is a killer. He killed people unjustly. Uh, so all the Ten Commandments coming from God in the Old Testament broken by Muhammad. Let us see here. We have our friend Mr. Basim want to talk to me. I hope he will answer. And not to forget to mention that the God of Islam, he promised them a lot of sex and uh, zucchini and banana in heaven and bracelet. In the Bible, we don't have such a crap. Jesus said he and she, they will not get married. They will be the same as angels. So if we have the same God, then we should have the same heaven. The heaven of Muhammad is Androtet's heaven, where women are naked. Even Muhammad, he mentioned that in the heaven there is a bazaar like Androtet web camera. You go to the bazaar and there is images of men and women. And if you like an image of a man or a woman, which means homosexuality is approved in the heaven of Allah, you enter the picture and you if it. That is absolutely garbage 
will not will never be approved in Christianity and the word of the Messiah is so clear they ask him about the women she have more than one husband she will be with who who is her husband will be in heaven the answer of the Messiah is so clear he and she which mean man and women they will not get married they will be the same as angels so we have million reason to believe that Allah is not the same God and Muhammad because he's a fraud he copies some names to deceive you like the Messiah like Moses like Abraham but it's obvious Muhammad he don't care about any of them and this is why he is killing the Jews and killing the Christians if he is a person I mean if somebody worship the same God as yours why you want to kill him why you want to kill him that doesn't make sense why you want to kill somebody worship your God no Muhammad you don't worship he never even like if you ask the Muslims actually Mr. Basim, I called you three times, twice now, you did not answer. If you ask any Muslim, where we can find the Ten Commandments in the Quran? They are gone. Okay, hold on. Where we can find the teaching of Moses in the Quran? One verse, and the rest are fairy tale stories. Where we can find the stories of Israel in the Quran? Nothing, just stupid stories. Lying here, lying there. Muhammad, he sit between the Jews. He learns some stuff. And he is always making poo-poo. As you see here, he heard from some Christians that the Messiah, because he is God, it was just a flesh in the cross. God don't die. So some Christians, obviously, because they believe that the Messiah is God, not because he's not God, because he is God. Well, anyway, this is the flesh. So they killed the flesh. Muhammad, he took that, he make it as a Quran. He says it was a flesh appeared to them. But that is confirming that Jesus is God, not the opposite. For those who they say so, they are saying that because he is the Holy God, there is no way the Holy God will accept those people to do that. It was just a flesh. This is, their, this is their theory or understanding. Muhammad, he took the theory and he put it in the Quran, but by doing that, he proved many things. He proved that the crucifixion was real. Why? It says that in front of you. It made appear to them. What does that mean? The body of Jesus was in the cross. But Jesus himself was not there. What does that mean? Jesus is God. The flesh is not, according to Muhammad. The flesh is in the cross. The true Christ is in heaven. So the stupid Muhammad, he took, he copied what some people say to him. He adopted that and he put it in the Quran. And now the Muslims are in, in, in the limbo. Every one of them, he give you different interpretation for this verse. And the worst stupid interpretation they give you, they agree upon most of them, that Allah, he made someone look like Jesus, which means Allah, is the one who deceived the Jews and he deceived the Christians and he made the Christian think and the Jews that the Messiah was a crucified by making someone look exactly like Jesus which means the stupid Muhammad again confirming the story in the gospel why because Jesus confirmed the crucifixion the Jews and the Christians they are very affirmed they did not say maybe they say we killed Christ they didn't even say kill the Christ. They said even his first name, and he is the son of who? You will notice some Abdul, they say to you, oh, there was two Jesus in the cross. Which one of them? Maybe the one in the other one. Uh, Abdul, the answer for you is from your stupid Quran. The Quran says it clearly. The Jews, they killed a specific person. He is the Christ. The other one is not the Christ. And he is the son of Mary. Let us call this guy again. <clears throat> Maybe you have a bad internet, and I'm trying. And by the way, uh, if you read the Quran, you will see how stupid Muhammad again.
because you will notice that the Messiah in Islam is in heaven and Muhammad is dead under the ground so how Muhammad is the most honorable man in history and yet he is under our feet and the Messiah is nobody compared to the, to Muhammad and yet he is in heaven and why this stupid Allah waited 600 years to bring somebody never witnessed Jesus never met Jesus don't speak the language of Jesus to tell us what happened to Jesus shouldn't Allah he sent like second they say hey guys this is a Christian disciple of Jesus this is not him <laughs> so he waited until Christianity became established and now the Christian supposedly being fooled this is they made them believe that this is Jesus but this is not a true Jesus so now we have two Jesus and Allah he cloned someone look like Jesus so now we have the clone Jesus and real Jesus but which Jesus was in the cross the, the Jews are you know they are they, they think he, they killed the true Jesus but the true Jesus is not there I mean what a, what a drama what a drama but the story itself here in the Quran confirm that the Messiah was crucified as simple as that it's in the front of you so every single verse in the Bible about the crucifixion of Jesus is absolutely truthful I will try to call this guy one more time and see hello hello hey my friend how are you can you speak louder please I have difficulty to hear you I, I cannot really hear you I don't know if you are using a headphone maybe you need to switch can you hear me now maybe take it off Is it better now? Um, no, my friend, it's really bad. I hear you, but it's, I mean, with difficulty. Let me call you back. If you have a headphone, take it off, you know. Not, not, I'm not, uh, I'm huh? not on my, I, I am not on my headphone. Okay, let me see if I can increase the sound from my side here. Guys, do you hear him from your side? Is it okay for you? Can we continue with his sound level? Okay, go ahead. What do you want to say to us, uh, Mr. Basin? Uh, can you see, hear, me, hear me now? I hear you, but the sound is not really so good. But what we can do, I mean, I will, I will try to, to manage. I would... My question is, um, is, is easy. Uh, well, I, I used to be a, a Muslim before. And, oh, you are, uh, you are not a Muslim no more. No, no, I, I left Islam uh, not long ago, but my, my wife's still uh, Muslim. Okay. And, and you said that uh, like if, if, you're, if you're Christian, you cannot uh, marry uh, a Muslim uh, woman. So, yeah, no, but in your case, in your case, you see, you are not a Christian from before marriage. So if a person, he was a pagan or he is following a wrong faith, and he converted to Christianity, he can keep his marriage. But if you are a Christian and you are single, you became a Christian and you are single, after that moment, you cannot marry a woman. She is not Christian. But because she was uh, your wife, before you become a Christian, your marriage is fine. Oh, all right. Yeah. However, you should do your best to make her believe in the Messiah so she will not teach your children false belief yeah, I understand. if you need my help I will be happy to help you with your wife if you want, want to convince her of anything if she have a questions I will be she don't need to talk to me she can ask you the question if she want if she is shy to talk and uh, you can give me the question she can just listen there next to you okay. hey, thank you very much for your call yeah. but why you why you left Islam Basim Listen, uh, well, I, I was Muslim before, but uh, was with the study uh, because I'm I'm uh, I'm an re I'm a chemistry researcher now in Canada, okay. and uh, well, I I've been uh, not very practicing like too much, so uh, by, by the time passing, I uh, I became a little bit far from uh, from 
from Islam, and uh, and and I became a little bit like an atheist. And uh, after that, uh, once I uh, I I met uh, somebody in in the park, who was uh, uh, preaching the the, the, the gospel. Mm-hmm. So we listened to to, to this lady and. Uh, and I, I converted because uh, I felt it was the, 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 the good way. Wonderful. Well, God bless you, my friend, and may the Lord bless that woman who she helped you to, to see the truth. Yes. Happy for you. All right. Anytime you need any question with your uh, wife, keep your marriage. You know, Christianity, uh, we as a Christian, we don't enjoy destroying family, you know. It's not the purpose of God. So he, you know, you keep your wife. You love your wife as a Christian. You never, you never cheat. You never lie to her. You never mistreat her. And maybe uh, she can see the difference between, uh, you know, uh, what what Christianity did to you and how you change, how you can be a better person. And maybe we pray that the Lord will make her, you know, believe and accept the Messiah as her savior. All right, take care. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. God bless. We well, apologize. The sound was really very bad. I put my ear the. I try to put the speakers so loud as much as I can, but... Yeah. See, guys, he said that a woman, a lady, in the park, she was preaching the gospel. Imagine... If we, we are almost 3 billion, but many of us, they are useless. They are just numbers. Imagine if we have one of 100, just one of every 100, preaching the gospel, trying to help people to believe and to see the truth, what we can do. We can do miracles. And this woman, God bless her, whoever she is. She changed the life of this brother. What a blessing to her. What a blessing to the family of this man. So imagine you can, you know, you, you receive such an honor yourself by serving the Lord and bringing people to Him. How many women they spend their day going to uh, night a club tonight and tomorrow? This woman, she go to the park preaching the gospel. Not to sit in the sun, to have a suntan, not to relax, but to serve the people. We need, we need more, more, women like those and more men like those uh, you know when Muslims they come here and they say to us show us where Jesus says I'm God I mean don't you find yourself Muslims are very silly so are you saying to me that all those Christians they believe that Jesus is God but Jesus never says so I mean, this is really stupid of you. Very stupid. Same time, your stupid Quran says Jesus is a creator. And Jesus, he made the blind see. If you watch the video of Mufti Mink, he speak about how Jesus, if he wave his hand, he wave his hand at the crowd, and all the crowd will be healed. I mean, who is this Jesus? He just waved his hand. And there's thousands of people. Go watch the video of Mufti Mink. He waved his hand. He didn't even pray to them. He didn't touch them. He, don't, he waved his hand. He said, hello. Everyone in the crowd, he will be healed. Who is this person? Why he have such a massive power? He create from the mud the bird. He make mud. He make a statues. He breathe into it. It come to life. What is that? 
if this is the purpose is to show a miracle well isn't it one is enough isn't it two isn't it three isn't it four do we need to heal millions of people so people will believe and then we find that Allah he could not give one miracle to Muhammad in the top of that Muhammad he claimed that Allah he gave the miracle to Jesus it's not Jesus this is why I say Muhammad is an antichrist devilish man satanic he want to strip the Messiah from all the miracle he did claiming that Allah is the one who gave it to him but as you know Allah could not give Muhammad a single miracle the Christians believe Jesus was God due to the miracles he performed through God the for crucifixion of Jesus impression was a test of faith but the Quran also states forgiveness to Christians this is the most stupid statement ever again I, I think you have a specialty with stupidity my friend I'm not insulting you look what he said again the purpose you no know, keep coming the Christians believe Jesus was God due to the miracles that's false but we will not believe that he is God unless he have a proof in the same time. We believe that the Messiah is God because of the miracle. Oh, if I go with you. So are you saying to me, you're a stupid Allah who know the future. You do not know that the Christian now, they will believe that the Messiah is God because he gave him too many miracles, amazing, crazy miracle, making from the mother bird, walking in water, controlling the nature, telling you what you hide in your houses, making the blind see, making the one who cannot walk. I mean, what is left? Even resurrecting the dead. So if this is what will make the Christian believe that Jesus is God, that means your God is a stupid. Because shouldn't your God knew that this is will make the Christian misled and make them think he is God? So if Allah gave Jesus miracles to make them believe he is a prophet, that means Allah is a stupid. Those miracles did not prove that he is a prophet. They prove he is God. <laughs> is that correct, guys? This is your words. This is not my words. So you are saying to us, you're a stupid God. He gave Jesus so much power to the point Christians, they thought he is God because this is too much for a man. There is no prophet he can do what this, you know, I mean, this is not normal. I mean, what is left from a creator to a healer to a, somebody can raise people from death, someone he forgives sin, someone make the blind see, someone he can make the one who cannot walk, walk. Uh, he waved his hand, he healed thousands of people. So this is to prove he's a prophet? What does this have to do with test of faith? My friend, you're being stupid again. Because if believing in Jesus is test of faith, well, this is a good test. Why? Because we believe in the best God sent. You just say that God gave him those miracles. So we believe in the miracles. So now we believe in the miracle. That make us bad? <laughs> that is a stupid, my friend. And how your prophet was tested by Allah. If you read what Muhammad said, he says by, by lies. I mean, look at the test. This is a test of faith. How Muhammad was tested by lies. He was full of lies. How we are tested? God gave Jesus a lot of miracles. Can we, do you see the stupidity? Muhammad is full of lies. And he was so sick. He keep fainting. He can't even go to the bathroom. He have a diarrhea. The last thing Muhammad he did before he died, he asked Aisha to bring him a dish to piss. He piss and he died immediately. What is the last thing Jesus said before he gave his spirit? Forgive them, Father. They don't know what they are doing. It's completed. What is the last thing Muhammad he did before he died? Peace. Abdul, 
When you say Jesus, he preached himself one God, then you have to find me a source. Uh, and by the way, we believe in one God anyway. I mean, you are being stupid again. Uh, and again, I just showed you that the Israeli believed that David, he worshipped Christ in his spirit. Again, you are stupid. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's it's in this stupidity. You see, just to show you how stupid you are, isn't it your stupid Quran? Say that the Jews believe that Uzair is a son of Allah. So how the Israeli worship worship one God and the stupid Quran says that the Jews they believe in the son of Allah. I mean, who is the stupid here? You or the or 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 Muhammad or the Quran or who is the stupid? You see how do, how confused those people? Just to lie, just to gain a point of, of an argument. When they want the Jews, they believe in one God. When they want. When they want, no. The Jews believe that God have a son. When they want. <laughs> this is your stupid Quran. It says that Uzair is a son of Allah. And by the way, who is this guy, Uzair? <laughs> so what are you talking about the Jews they believe uh, and then when we ask the Jews hey Jews where we can find this Uzair they will say to you we never heard of such a name never not a single Jew heard of such a name do you see how we get Muhammad busted if the Jews until now they are false then the name should be there. Where is Uzair? Who is Uzair? The Jews they worship. Ask any rabbi, even those who hate Christianity, they will say to you, we never heard of such a name. And I just say to you, Jesus says, the one who saw me, he saw the Father. You say, Jesus, he preached that is only he have one God. Right? Jesus preached that there's only one Father and he is his Son. Jesus preached that he will send the Holy Spirit. That is what Jesus preached. It's not up to you. And you know, the most important, let us say Christianity does not exist. Let us say the Christians are not there. I mean, don't you see how stupid your book? How in the world you accept such a stupid donkey religion? I will, as an example, read this verse after it. It says that the Christians and the Jews, they took their, uh, their priests and their monks as gods instead of Allah. Look at this false translation. I mean, this is Yusuf Ali. In his time, there is no Google translation, but obviously his translation is horrible. Let us see, big tal. Read with me, Allah. They have taken the, uh, as Lord, as God, beside Allah, their rabbi and their monks. And in the English it says, and the Messiah, son of Mary. In Arabic, it doesn't say that. In Arabic, it says, they took their monk and, 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 and their rabbi and their monk as God instead of Allah and the Messiah, the son of Mary. I mean, do you see the stupid Quran? They took their monk and rabbi as gods instead of who? Allah and the Messiah. And then now the Muslim, they try to fix it. They say, no, no, no. In Arabic, you can move to the end, to the beginning, the grammar. Oh, they try everything. The Arabic is so clear. They took their monk and their God as their, their 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 rabbi and their monk as gods instead of Allah and the Messiah. So instead of who? Instead of Allah and the Messiah. The Quran just confessed that Jesus is God and they is one God. Same time, if you ask the Muslims what this verse mean, they will say, well, those Christians, they start taking what their monks and their rabbis instead what God said. You should not take words from man. You should not take command from man. You should take command only from God. But this is what the Jew, what the Muslim they do. They took the Muhammad as Lord 
beside Allah. So if Allah, he says something in the Quran and Muhammad says something, what the Muslim they do? They take what Muhammad said, not what Allah said. Do you see the hypocrisy and the stupidity? Same time, you cannot find one single Christian or a Jew take his monk as God. We don't even follow them. We follow the scriptures. If one of us, he go out of the scriptures, we call him heretic. He will be kicked out of the church. It is you, Muhammadan, who follow Muhammad instead of your God. Your God in the Quran says you do muta. Muhammad, he says, don't do muta. Which one the Muslim they follow? They follow Muhammad. If you say to me, Muhammad, he received command from Allah to forbid the muta, that will make more stupid story. Why? Why Allah allow it? And why Muhammad forbid it? And if Muhammad received from Allah, where is the verse? How Muhammad received command? Do we receive email? All the commands of Muhammad should come through the Quran. So the Quran have verses, and Muhammad say the opposite, and the Muslim they practice this verse. They follow their monks and their rabbi. In this case, their, their monk and rabbi is one man, Muhammad. He replace Allah. He is their God. In the Quran, it says you pray three times. In the Hadith, Muhammad says five. Hmm. Allah, he sent ten times breastfeeding for adult, which is something I like. I want to convert to Islam just for a few days because I'm hungry. Especially I'm single. All right. So Allah, because he is holy, and Muslims are very conservative, brother, he commanded Muslim women in the Quran to do breastfeeding 10 times for adult. If we ask the Muhammadan, what is even the purpose of this stupid verse if we cannot find it because the goat ate it? There is no purpose. I mean, what the heck is that? What, what, what is that? A woman, she is giving her breast to a stranger and he have to suckle her and he is an adult man growing with beard. He have to sit in her lap, sucking her breast 10 different days in 10 different time until he is satisfied. And this is from God. And not only that, when we can find those verses, they are gone. And as you see here, Aisha, she have her sisters and her nieces they sit in the front of her house. Any man when I enter upon Aisha, he have to go to her nieces and start playing with their boobs. Or her sister. If the man did not suck her sisters or her nieces ten times, he is not allowed to enter. This is a religion from God? This is a religion of Moses? This is the God of Moses. Here it says, Aisha, she said, from what is sent down to the Quran, the Quran, ten known suckling made marriage and lawful. Where we can find them? Where is the ten suckling? And then it says, and then they were abrogated and they made them five. Where we can find them, the five? And when Muhammad, he died, those are in the Quran, but we cannot find them in the Quran. Where are they? The Muhammadan, they claim that the Quran is preserved. But as you see, they are gone. Any Muhammadan? So all Islam is collapsing left and right. Okay, the, the Quran is... Brother 
the Quran is in the birth. And the Muslim read that the Quran. And the Muslim they can read the Quran for you. Okay, as I can recite the Quran, he cannot recite the Quran. Who can recite the Quran? Is the child who first him since a very early age. They keep beating the hell of him until he memorize the Quran. You will not find one person. He is trying to learn the Quran after he became 12 or 14 or 15. He can recite the Quran. Why? You are a kid. When you are a kid, you, you remember. I remember commercial since I was six years old. They bring kids, they keep beating them, beating them, beating them until they memorize the Quran. You will not find one person who converted to Islam, he can memorize the Quran. This is only happened for kids. By force. And now, as long as the Muhammadan they claim that in the time of Muhammad they memorized the Quran, which is false, because all of us we knew that not a single Muslim he memorized the Quran. What they have, this guy he memorized two verses, that guy memorized five verses, this guy memorized one verse. They start asking them, Who have a verse? Give me a verse, give me a verse. They start making a book. And now we see that Aisha she is witnessing that there's ten verses, but we cannot find them. Where are they? And then they became five, where we can find them. Where we can find the 10 and where we can find the five. What do you think about those videos in Tuk Tok? Were they to put the Quran, the cow, and react to it? Okay, I will make a video like it. I will make the goat, you know, I have a... Uh, lately, I met a, a, a nice goat. She is from a, a, it's a he, it's he actually. I don't like to speak to female goats, you know. Uh, they give me headache, female goats, you know, like they start asking questions like, How old are you? Where you live? You know, you know, those female goats. So I keep distance from them. So I uh, I met a male goat and uh, I'm going to record the male goat uh, reaction when he see the Quran first time. Who want to see such a thing happening? Give me one if you like to see it. I don't know what we will call it. What do you think, guys, are the reaction of the goat? I think the goat, she will start like going crazy all over the Quran because you know the Quran is yummy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, the goat will like, she will start kicking it, eating it, licking it, flipping it. You know, you can imagine how excited she will be. This is the word of Allah. She will put a holy in the belly. Reaction. I mean, as long as Muslim they do those things, yeah, I think we we have the right then to show them the, the real reaction, not the Photoshop one. You know, and this goat, by the way, is from a good family. I mean, she is from a noble family. She is from the family of Gotian. Gotian was the king of England. Uh, he is the grandfather of this king. You know, he's a pervert. But this goat is from better family. If you go in any topic about Muhammad, you will see how stupid this religion is. And even, look, look, what is the name of the book? Look what they say. The name of the book is the marriage. False. The name of the book is Nikah. Nikah means the effing. Effing. They lie even about the words. Look how faithy this religion is. The book of Nikah. Who is the, in the world when you use the word Nikah to say marriage? Nikah does not mean marriage. Nikah means to F. This is why Muhammad, he said, when your wife, she have her menstruation, he's trying to copy the Jews, but the Jews don't even touch them. They don't touch the women, she have she menstruation. Do everything with them except Nikah. So, if uh, uh, if the word nikah mean marriage, how he is saying to Muslims, do everything with them except nikah. They are married. They are already their wives.
Do everything except Nikah. They are already their wives. So what Nikah then? Let me show you the Hadith. And this is very authentic hadith. So even marriage does not have a value. They use the F word for very savage, trashy, you know, garbage man. The Jews used not to eat with women during her menstruation. But this is not about eating, this is about sex. So the Prophet said, do everything with them apart from nikah. You see, the Muslim translated even they themselves did not translate the word nikah as marriage. Why? I mean, it says nikah here, read it. Yeah, it's on the front of you, nikah. This is the word nikah. Front of you. Why here they translate it as intercourse? Because this is what it is. It is the F word. So when your wife, she had administration, don't listen to the Jews. The Jews, they don't have sex with them. They don't do anything. A Muslim man, he can touch, he can play. Muhammad, he used to order his wives to put a sheet between their legs, even when the blood is coming and, uh, and flooding over his, 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 his body. Still, he used to rub his penis between their legs. And this is all in their books. And this is a man to follow. Nikah is a, is, a, is a dirty word. Even Muhammad, he used the F word in some places. Like, Nikah is not a popular, you know, you see the Arabic is not one language. I mean, Arabic is not, because Arab are not one people. You know, they are like many dialect and many. But the most popular one, uh, the, uh, for the F, Muhammad, the street one, the one is used in the street. Even that one, Muhammad, he used her, the F word. So a man, he came to Muhammad and he said to him, maybe perhaps you kissed or squeezed or looked. He replied, no, messenger of Allah. He then said, you see the translation says, did you have intercourse with her? He did not say that to him. He said, did you F her? And this is the word in Arabic, aniktaha, aniktaha. Did you F her? Ask anyone in the street, what this word? This is literally the street F word. Did you F her? Not intercourse. Very trashy. Very filthy, very low-class man. There's a million words he can use. He can say, did you sleep with her? Did you have intercourse with her? Did you lay down with her? Did you have sex with her? He did not say, he said, did you F her? And I challenge any Arab to say I'm lying, that this is not what the word mean. This is who they follow. This is their best man. If this is the best man, what is the worst man? Hey, people, when I ask you, like this time now, it's very late for me. It's 3 a.m. in the morning already. But I want to ask you, uh, if you don't mind, can you tell me which countries you guys are from? I know my, some of you don't like to say, but if you don't mind, if it's okay to say, uh, post in the chat so I can see in this time which countries really can listen to me. I'm trying to divert my timing 
so I can serve even though this time it is not a pleasant for me to be 3 a.m. in the morning or 2 a.m. in the morning you know speaking uh, just let me know please which country you are from if you don't mind so we can see how often we can do come in certain time what time is best Germany Spain India California United States Australia Indonesia Philippines Lebanon Malaysia all right wonderful uh, okay uh, Indonesia Serbia UK OCs India wonderful look like we have people from around the world Vietnam welcome our friend from hey here we go even we have from Vietnam that's wonderful uh, England that's wonderful if there is any one of you is a Muslim and he have a Muslim Sheikh and he would like to see a nice conversation let him call me you know trust me if the person is speaking to me nicely and he don't want to play game I never shout at them I never you know just let us have an adult conversation you know the the guy who called me from India today what he do he say okay uh, you cannot explain the verse as you wish we have to see the scars we show the scar he don't want to read the scars I don't like this kind of people I, I, I like a person who have a stability in his words I mean don't contradict yourself if you say let us read this verse and let us see the scars then let us read the verse and read the scars you don't you cannot say to me I accept the scars and then when I ask you which scar you agree you start you know giving me none and you don't want to read so al is not accepted al qurtubi is not accepted Ibn Kathir is not accepted so who is accepted I want a real person who is claiming to be knowledgeable and I hope he is so all of you all of us we can have a benefit of a discussion between two people who claim to have knowledge because it might be I'm a claiming and he got me busted it might be he is a claiming and he got busted however you are the winner because in this case you will see a nice discussion between two supposedly they are expert in what they are claiming to be and then let us see what will happen right Wakanda there's a country is called Wakanda I never heard of this country. Welcome, my friend. Bill Jam. All right. Saudi Arabia. Even we have Saudi Arabia. All right. All right. Wonderful. So if you if you have any some anyone who claim to be a cleric or uh, or uh, or a sheikh, he can call me immediately. I can call him. Just give me his Skype. That will be wonderful. All right. Yeah, look like I made the people in the state and Canada stay very late. You know, it's uh, 3 a.m. and 4, 4 a.m. in the morning, and still they are here. New Zealand. Uh, no, Wakanda. Uh, I don't know what Wakanda is. I thought it's the name of a country. <laughs> See what ignorance can do to you. You think you think it's the name of a country. How I know, you know, yeah. Like you know, my my English used to be way horrible than now. I mean, now it's way better. So first time I start going in the internet, I go to chat rooms and I be nice. So I say hello, guys, and then those people they start cursing me. You know, get out of here, stupid. But I don't know what I did. I just say hello, guys. Anyway, to make the story short, after going to many chat rooms and the same thing happened, each time I say go in, I just say hello guys, those people, they got so crazy on me, cursing me, calling me names, and then I found out that I was typing hello gays, you know, so this is what happened when you are ignorant, you know, right, you know, ignorant is, <laughs> so imagine I say, and I don't know what's happening, like I go to the chat room, hey, man, what's wrong with those people, I just, why they are rude to me, I mean, I just, I mean, do they even know I'm an Arab or something? Like, who told them? I mean, I just say, I just say, hello, guys. What the heck? You know, and I was like really upset. I don't know what's going on. So I go to the second room. I say the same. Hello, guys. Go crazy on me. Like, you know, and then I, like third room, 
fourth room. I became I became homeless. I was I been cooked from all the chat rooms, and at the end, I uh, one of them he said before they kicked me out from the chat room. Why you are saying gaze? So I looked, gaze, where, you know? And then they like suddenly like they, they have a bounce option. They kick me out. And then I search it, and then yeah, it turned to be like it was gaze, <laughs> and then I started laughing. <laughs> anyway, see, there is something you should learn yourself that when you are ignorant, say it, say you were ignorant, it's not a shame. You know, there are some people they will be because they are not self confident. Uh, they don't want to show like one day I used like man how I do that this is horrible ignorance is a shameful thing if you stay ignorant forever it's like somebody you know you know when you ask a question you ask a question right uh, there is somebody in the stage and he is supposedly the wise man and you all want to learn so you ask the question you might look like a fool when you ask this question but it's okay a person who's asking a fool question or foolish question he's trying to be wise you will get the answer and now you will learn something but the person who never asked the question and he is a fool he will stay fool forever so ask the question make the mistake but you learn from your mistakes so all of us we have some ignorance you know, in language, I mean, it's normal. I'm not born in this country. It's not my first language. So what do you expect? I'm learning. So uh, uh, the, the good thing for us as a human, we learn from mistakes. And this is why we are considered as a smart creatures. Because we learn. We are not programmed. So today should be better than yesterday. Tomorrow should be better than today. But if you are a person who live just to live, drink, eat like an animal, programmed, you are dead already. Your time will pass and you never improved and you could not accomplish anything except eating, you know, sleeping, sex, maybe drinking, party, shaking your ass. Yeah, life, life will take you so fast and you will not even feel how stupid what you did because you spend your life learning nothing and doing nothing. And never feel down if people even laugh at you. I make jokes about myself. And, you know, just, I just did, actually, right? So, I, you know, many people, because they are not feeling confident of themselves, they get hurt badly if anyone say anything negative about them. But if this negative is true, you should not feel bad. You should work to fix it a person who said to me what is my negative is a good man or a good woman a person who hide my negative is trying to hurt me so never never you know like feel down even when you are in a bad situation because simply uh, you know it's true I mean, okay, I did something stupid. It's stupid. I laugh with them. I will laugh at my at myself too, if I did something, you know, not right or funny or you know, make even make fun of yourself. What's wrong with that? When you are confident, you know that in your heart, inside you, who you are, what kind of a person you are, if you are good or bad, and then how the whole world see you, who care. I make fun of myself how I look like how many times you heard me saying if I look at the mirror if I turn the camera for you I will scare the hell of you all of you why I say that many if you say to them you don't look good they will be so upset that will be a disaster I make fun of myself why because I don't care what people think who care who care if you like if you see me handsome or not? Who care if you see me smart or not? Who care if you see me 
uh, uh, religious or not what I care for is what I know about myself and what my Lord know about me you have to be confident with yourself and not to try to buy the confidence of people like people have confidence on me because I made them see me in the way they like me to be seen not the way I am so be yourself and make mistakes no problem but try always to fix it and learn from it don't be like a mule who you know uh, go down in his knee and he never get up you know he like it there the horse he might fail down but he stand up and he run again uh, someone want to debate me well, he can text me in Skype I don't see anyone texting me what I can do. There is no need for me to you to say you want to debate, you know, debate me. Just text me in Skype and you will come. I will call you. Uh, and you know, uh, Abdul, uh, they they have a they have a system of bully. You know, bully they bully each other. They bully Christians. They bully the Muslims. Muslim bully Muslims. As an example, you will see like this guy, Mimi Hijab, he bully every Muslim in the internet he don't agree with, with him. Every single one of them. And uh, Allah himself, he do bully. Allah himself, he do bully. The whole Quran is a book of bully. Bullying the Christian, bully the Jews, bully the Arab. To the point he goes so low, like if you remember the story of uh, the chapter, it's called the chapter, that's how funny it is about uh, uh, Abu Lahab it's called Al Masad what is this chapter just bully you know uh, the, the uncle of Muhammad don't believe in Islam and he don't believe Muhammad is a prophet he believe is a false man uh, his sons married two of the Muhammad daughters which is not his daughters and now Allah decide to bully them so look at this the power of Abu Lahab will perish and he will be perish his wealth and gain will not exempt him and he blanked fire uh, flaming fire his wife therefore his wife she will be carrying with brother okay and she will have a rope around her neck what is that what is this this is God hmm? there is no need to debate I just ask a question which you could not answer know your audience questions where in the Bible Jesus says I am God worship him and my friend Gosan I think you are a donkey my friend because I spend more than 30 minutes answering you and then you say to me where Jesus says that <laughs> guys how many verses I quoted and how many verses I showed and then this potato is saying, the Christian prince, there is no need to debate. I ask you a question where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. And you did not give me the answer. So what I was doing to you, potato? Isn't it this is the Bible say, Jesus says, I am the living God, you idiot. So what I was reading for you? In one page alone, Jesus says, I am the living God three times. Just in one page in the Bible. This is John chapter 8. Jesus says, I am the living God, the light of the world. Whoever follows me shall not walk in darkness, but shall find the light of life. Where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. You did not answer me. We go down a little bit. Jesus said to them, and in you written, uh, uh, written law, it is written, the testimony of two men is a true I am the living God I who testify about myself and my father who has sent me has testified about me they said to him who is your father Yeshua he answered them you know not neither my father neither 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 me neither my father if you had known me you would have known the father also where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. Let us continue. <laughs> Jesus said to them, 
You I am from above, you are from below. Where, guys, where Jesus is, I'm God. Just this is one chapter, one page. I am from, you are from below. I am from above. Where is Jesus coming from? He is from above, from heaven. You are from below. Hey, followers of Muhammad, you are under the shoes of Jesus like Muhammad. You are from this world. I am not from this world. Where Jesus saying that? In Bible, when I say that God, who you call as Father also, not Jesus, just get out of here. Just potato. Just, we don't care even if you, you know that you are just being stupid, don't you? Just get out of here. So Jesus did not say I'm God. You know, Christians, all of this. I am not from this world. You are from below. I am from above. Jesus is not saying he's God. Okay, Jesus is not from his world. Where, where he's from? <laughs> you know, demonic, possessed, satanic people. It doesn't matter how much you show them, still they don't see. They are blind and deaf. Not because my God made them blind, because Allah, he made them blind. And the Quran witness for that. And then Jesus says, I say that you shall die in your sin, for unless you shall believe that I am the living God, you shall die in your sin. Where Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. We continue. And then Jesus, he said to them, and they did not know that he spoke to them about the Father. Yeshua spoke again to them. When you have lifted up the Son of Man, then you shall know that I am the living God, and I do nothing of my own pleasure. But just as my Father has taught me, so I am speaking. Where Jesus says, I am God, worship me. And the story continues. Jesus saying, I am God again and again. And still the Abdul, he don't see it. You cannot make Abdul who drink camel urine see. He think it's wine. I mean, those are people who drink camel piss instead of drinking beer. And they think this is the right thing to do. And by the way, they say to you, hey, Christians, brother Thitar, why the Christian they are not following the Torah? Is that Karnaik? What do you mean? I think example. In the Torah, brother, it's forbidden for you to eat pork. Okay, is that Naik? In the Torah, it's forbidden for you to eat camel meat and milk. So why you Muslims are eating camel and milk? Christian friends, I was talking about the pig. Zakura and Yuka, I'm talking about the camel. So if you are claiming that you Muslims follow Musas and you're asking why we don't follow Musas, then you should not drink the piss of the camel you it's a it's not even the meat it's the piss hey muslims do you eat the shit of the camel too or only the liquid shit because piss is a liquid shit just to explain it to you shit have two scenario one come from the front and one come from the back the one come from the front it's called piss but still it's shit the one come from the back this one we call it the popular name Joe Biden, oh shit, you know? So you Muslims, you claim that you are following God and you follow the Torah, but you don't even have the Torah. And your prophet swear in the Torah, but he cannot even read the Torah. But your prophet, he order you to drink the camel milk and to eat the, to drink the camel uh, piss and to eat camels. Hold on. And we cannot say that Muhammad, you do not know that this is forbidden for the Jews, why? You will see in the in the hadith, the stupid Muhammad he saw a bunch of rats. Muhammad was a laboratory scientist. He's a very, I mean, genius. So Muhammad he saw a rat, and this rat have something unique about the behavior of those rats. Let us show you the hadith here. Hmm. Where is the hadith? Where is the hadith? Read with me. So the observer Muhammad, PhD in laboratory scientific, you know, academic study, he was watching the rat in his laboratory. 
So Muhammad, he put some milk, camel milk, in front of the rat. Read with me. The Prophet said, A group of Israelists were lost. Nobody knows what they did. But I do not see them except that they were cursed and changed into rats. For, now the reasoning, look at the reasoning. For if you put the milk of a she camel in front of a rat, it will not drink it. But, but brother, if the milk of a sheep in front of it, it will drink it. So Muhammad the idiot, he knew that Jews shall not and should not drink camel urine or camel milk. To the point, even Jewish rat, even Jewish rat. Remember, those are Jews who Allah made them rat. I mean, look how bad they are. I mean, how bad they are and still they are following the Torah. Why he is cursing them? <laughs> so now you are a rat and still you observe the command of Musa's brother. What a nice rat you are. This rat, I guess, Muhammad was watching, he was a rabbi. Hmm? What do you think, Muslims? He must be a rabbi, don't he? He is observing the Torah and the command. He was wearing a hat too? What the heck is this? So how he knew that the Jews cannot drink or eat even the milk of the camel. And by the way, United Nations agreed and approved. You can read the warning about the milk camel and the urine camel. It's very dangerous. Very dangerous food. The Muslim, he don't see all this garbage in their books. But they come to you says, when Jesus says, I'm God, worship me. My friend, when Jesus, even if he did not say, but he did many, many times. But even if he did not, your God, Aka Muhammad, he said many times, worship me. I'm not going to worship him. Talk is cheap. God is not just a word he say worship me you see Moses did not worship God because he said I'm God he said to him I am <laughs> he said I am and Moses worship him and he trusted him your God has no glory your God is dead and even the Jews, they made fun of him because this God, he cannot do any miracle to Muhammad. So the Jews, they said, Yadullahi maglula, the hands of Allah are tied up. And this is additional proof that the Jews never believe in Allah. Because if their God, his name is Allah, they will not make fun of such a name. You see, the Jews, they, if, you see, the, the one who was saying that the word Allah means God, that's false. If this is the case, the Jews will not say the hand of Allah, because the hand of Allah, that means the hand of God. If Allah is a word, mean God. No, Allah is a name. So the hand of Allah is tied up. They were making fun of Muhammad because he cannot do anything. Muhammad, he got angry and Allah answered them. He says, no, Allah's hand is open and he can spend. Muhammad did not understand what he is saying. They are saying, they are not asking you about spending, you stupid. What spend? Since when God, he need to spend, like he is going for shopping. So Allah cannot give Muhammad miracles. Muhammad, he answered, he did not get it. Fewer is slow. He said, no, Allah, he can spend. In fact, he was in the mall yesterday and he bought me some nice shoes. Hmm. my friend nobody can deceive anyone if we work and we spread my videos why you don't copy my videos and spread them most of them they can de deceive you only if you are ignorant 
Okay, if you are ignorant, this is your fault. If your son is ignorant, it's your fault. So instead of complaining about this guy is deceiving many, what about you start yourself doing something? At least copy my videos. Like this video, you can make a hundred video from it. Make short videos. You can make a thousand video from three or four hours videos of mine. We have many topic. We may share many things. People complain, but they don't want to do any work. Uh, you sense a dark, evil energy from me? My friend, I forgot to tell you. There's a guy, he's a Jew. He took some hair from my butt and he controlled me. Is that the story happened to your prophet, Mr. Muhammad, bad energy? Is it true that your prophet who have a good energy was controlled by some hair taken from his butt? And you are talking about good energy and bad energy? Which energy Muhammad was controlled by when a person took hair from his anus and I want to know how in the world he got that hair. Do your prophet used to shave his anus in the barber shop at that time? Bad energy. Abdul talking about bad energy. Why do I hate dogs? I want to kill them all like your prophet. Do I like to have sex with the children like your prophet? Do I go to man and say to him, why are you marry a widow man? Go and marry a child. What's wrong with you, Jabir? Jabir, listen. Children, children, they can play with you. You can sport with them. So you sense bad energy? Do you want to do muta, brother? Do you think muta is a good energy? Do you want to call me and tell me what the last time you did muta? Huh? وَتَمَتَّعْنَا مَعَ الرَّسُولِ Do you want to do have a muta party? We can do muta this coming Friday. You know? You bring like four girls. What do you think? Halal, halal. Huh? We pay them. The last one Muslim called me. I asked him about muta. He said he, you know, cost him five hundred dollars. What do you think? Bad energy. He, by the way, when the Quran says Allah, Shaitan, He take care from your anus and make you fart. What kind of energy will come with the fart? I mean, this is painful. Shaitan, he take hair from your anus each time you try to pray. Do you have a proof of that? I mean, why Shaitan is targeting the anus of the Muslims? According to Muhammad, Shaitan, he wanna he round himself around the penis of the Muslim. Shaitan, he sleep in their nose, he piss in their ears, he jump in their mouth, he spit in their belly bum, he play with their anus. I mean, name for me one thing. And the Muslim, he don't feel the energy yet. He feel only my bad energy. He was doing yoga, by the way, this guy. I can tell Muhammad ri rising. A <laughs> Muslim talking about energy. <laughs> Are you trying to bully me? I mean, from everybody in the world, you could not find somebody to bully except me. Are you joking? You know you are talking too, don't you? You want to bully me. I mean, shouldn't you know that I'm the last one to be bullied? Potato. I feel your bad energy, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, brother, as long as you are talking about bad energy, your prophet, when he was squeezed by the angel, and then he was shepherding and he went to his wife and he said to her, what's wrong with me? Do you think he felt the bad energy from the angel? Otherwise, why he say, what's wrong with me? Not only that, he said, where I am. He's in her, he's at his home. He's in his house. His wife, she covered him by a blanket. He's shivering. His lips is not moving. And he said to his wife, with the, with where, where I am, what's wrong with me? So why is somebody being squeezed by an angel? He feel like that. It must be a bad energy or maybe it's a good energy. You tell me, you want to call me and correct me? Hmm? 
Yeah, a Muslim, you know, it looked like this Muslim, he watched too much Sad Guru. And the most important thing about Sad Guru, that his name is Sad and he want to teach you how to be happy. Relax, relax. Hmm? Sad Guru, Sad Muslim, Sad Muhammad. But you know, the, there is something unique about Muhammad, we have to admit. Uh, Muhammad, he have a musical ears. You know, as an example, I mean, he have a special ears. Like all prophets of God, they receive, uh, you know, normal conversation except Muhammad. He received Quran in the sound of bells, jungle bell. And the funny is, Muhammad, he said that bell, the sound of a bell, is the musical instrument of shaitan. Okay, if the sound of the bell is the musical instrument of shaitan, why Muhammad receiving from his God, Quran, as a sound of a bell, Muslims? Anyone can tell me? Look, even angels, they will not walk with you. Hmm. All right, I feel sorry for the Muslims, but don't try to bully me. You are no, you, you know, you try, try something. You know, you better know better than this. Bully doesn't work with me, the bully nation of Muhammad. Here Muhammad he is mentioning that he received Quran in the sound of a bell. And you know, the first question come to my head, as long as he received a sound of a bell, how he made it Quran in Arabic? Hmm? How Quran become Arabic if it was a bell? Any Muslim can tell us? Obviously, Muhammad is suffering from mental illness. He hear voices. God, he is sending him Quran in the sound of a bell. What does that mean? How you can, how that, how that became Arabic language? How, how he understand? Huh? Okay, stop, stop. Let me translate. Hey guys, Allah, he said to you, hello all, assalamu alaikum. And uh, if you are a Muslim, and if you are not a Muslim, may Allah curse you. And uh, Allah, uh, when you go to hell, he will shorten your penis and he will make the penis of the Muslim so long. Okay? A certain bell sound, a frequency that in entities can tap into. That's deep. Guys, Muhammad rising, obviously he worked for the Mossad. Look at the analyst in the, the how he analyzed the, analyzed the information. Look at this. So smash Allah. How you can do that, brother? That's so deep. Look. I never saw I never wow. Certain bell sound has a frequency that entities can tap into. Are you saying somebody was tapping in your prophet receiving Quran? The Mossad maybe? What are you talking about, brother? This is dangerous. Are you sure? Do you have any proof of that? So like Allah is communicating with Muhammad and somebody did tap. What the heck? Now we know why the Jews, they knew everything before even Muhammad, he say it. Muhammad, he received sound of a bell. The Jews, they are spying and they are listening. Jack Shalom, he was listening. I know Jack Shalom. I mean, this guy is crazy, you know? Yeah, so like, you know, like, okay, Jack Shalom, what, uh, you know, Muhammad, he just now received the chapter. It says, any believing woman, she can offer herself to the Prophet to, to if her. 
The Jews, they tried to stop it, but they could not because the frequency of Allah is so strong. Very strong. May they, may they. Prophet Muhammad, may they, do you hear me? What the heck is that, man? So now you fix it? You Muslims always, you try to fix it, you make it blind. Eh, you remind me, your prophet used to put eye nard three times a day because he is half a blind. You ask the Muslims why he put eye nard. This is because it's a medicine. Okay, I agree. At that time, people, they use it as, as, as a medicine. But uh, three times every day? I mean, medicine, when you are sick, correct? Let us say, this is the medicine at that time. You put it when you are sick, when you have something, you know, like, you know, when those Arab, they don't wash their face. So when they sleep, they have what they call it in English, those things like around your eyes, and then they can bring, bring back bacteria and germs and etc. So they used to use this eyeliner too. Yeah, but Muhammad, he put it every day. Conclusion, Prophet Muhammad wanted to be pretty. Do you believe that Jesus is white? I don't know, Faye. What do you think his color was? You see, this is a question Christian don't ask because we are not racist. But you Muslims, because you are racist, you care about the color. However, you idiot, Jesus is born between the Jews, and I believe the Jews are not born in Africa or in Sri Lanka. So what do you expect the color to be? I will give you three options. The Jews, they were American Indian. The Jews... At that time, they were Japanese. Option number three. The Jews at that time, they were green. Which one you choose? I mean, where did those people come to me from? I mean, God, what I did, what I did, why? Why? I mean, those are your creation. God, you created this guy. Why? Can you send him back where he came from? <laughs> Oh, that mercy. Only racists, they care what is the color of Jesus. doesn't matter who they are. A Christian person, the last question he will ask, you see, you read the whole Bible, you will not see one place. It says, what is the color of Jesus? Do you know why? Because this is not the book of racists. But can we do the same about Muhammad? No. There's tons of thousands of articles speaking about how white Muhammad was. And not only that, they describe how white his underarm is how white his hip oh hold on don't make me cry there is a video it says description of a prophet muhammad if i play it for you you will cry muhammad was whiter than the moon a man a man he woke at night and he saw Prophet Muhammad. He said to himself, Let me see who is more white, this moon or Prophet Muhammad. And then he looked at the moon. And then he looked at the Prophet. And then he looked at the moon. And then he looked at the Prophet. And then he looked at the moon. And then <laughs> look at the Prophet. And then look at the moon. And then he looked at the uh, prophet. Uh, uh, oh, yeah, that will touch your heart. I came out one night. Uh, in, I came out one night that was the full moon night. Look, look how emotional. Look how emotional. The guy, he cannot talk, brother. I mean, look at this, look at this, like what, look, what I can explain. What I, I mean, he's so sexy, man. I cannot even describe. Are you kidding me? I, I'm out of words. He is so sexy. And you know what? You, you Muslims, and you talk about homosexual. I mean, are you talking about a man? Are you, is, is he, like, what are you doing? You will never see Christians talking about how good looking Jesus is or how, how white he is. This is only those racist Arab. Who care? So the guy, he came out at night and, and look at the music and the bang. What the heck is that? Is that action? That will make it like holy, you know, like this is the, 
this is the business requirement you know this is a holy speech now what they are saying in the background is as i thought the music is haram so the guy he went out at night yeah what happened alex says he says i came out one night uh, oh, i came out one night that was the full moon night the devil moon and look 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 I did you see the flash in the video guys Hey, people, did you notice the flash in the video? Allah, he just appeared in the video. Hold on, let me, let me play it again. I mean, there's no way this is Photoshop or something. This is from the... This is Allah. Look, look how it's going to flash. Look, whoop, 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 whoop. what the heck is that? I looked at the moon and in the desert understand... Flash, flash, flash. Is, is more, more awesome flash, more. Sight. It is smooth. Yes, brother, more flash. It is radiant. Now, it's, it's, it's about Muhammad. See the light? We, 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 we. This is not the police looking for a terrorist in the mosque. No, no, no. This is the prophet of Allah. I mean, even his mother, when she gave birth to him, it says in the hadith, a light came from a vagina. And this is what it's called, the first vagina nook. I'm telling you, vaginas are very dangerous. I mean, the light came out of Muhammad vagina, reached all the way the palaces of Damascus. Can you explain to me how big the explosion is? And I challenge the Muslim to say, I'm lying. From her vagina, and nobody saw it in Mecca, and the light all the way went to Damascus. I mean, how many bombs is that? I mean, between between Mecca and Damascus, there's at least like, I think, a thousand, maybe 300 kilometers, something like that. Maybe more, I'm not sure. The light went all the way. So if a bomb explodes in Mecca, the light would go. I mean, that's impossible, man. That must be a very powerful vagina. But would you expect a vagina will give birth to Muhammad? Must be very powerful, shiny, nuclear, proton and neutron hitting each other. Like the neutron, Muhammad, she's giving birth to him. And there's two neutron, neutron in the door. They hit each other and the explosion happened and the light came. This is physics, pure physics. Okay, continue, brother. What happened to Muhammad, the white man? It is clear. It is gentle compared to the scorching sun, but which they are used to. So the moon was the epitome of beauty. So he says, I came out at a full moon night and I looked at the, at the moon and I saw it beautiful, handsome. So I said, let me go see if the moon is more handsome or my prophet is more handsome. Look at this. Unbelievable. Look at the test of a beauty. Muhammad is the dragon queen. What they call her, this guy, transgender guy, what they call him? Dragon what? You know, this weird person who wears a skirt is a man. So the Muslim, they want to do like the test. Like, I want to go and see who is more white, brother. He's more shiny at night. He's so white, so shiny. He's going to compete with the moon. So like, Okay, you know, like the guy, he saw the moon, you know, okay, you know what? I'm going to see who is more, uh, uh, you know, uh, you know, a white more, the moon or Prophet Muhammad. And you know who is going to win? Drag queen, drag, drag queen. Yeah, what a, what a name, drag queen. It sounds like a dragon, evil. Anyway, so I'm going, like, you know, you know, me as an Arab, when I walk, like, and at night I go outside, and I look up, 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 I look up, I don't see the moon. I mean, how you in the world you want to see the moon in the Middle East? You don't see the moon. You see just mosque around you. Mosque here, mosque there, mosque there. Where is the moon? And then all of them, they turn the speakers at the same time in the most ugly sound, scaring the hell of everybody asleep. Now, what happened when you look at the moon? What happened? Handsome. Let me see if that is more beautiful or the prophet is more beautiful. So I went. Did you hear them saying the prophet is more beautiful? And they say that they don't worship a homo prophet. He just said he want to see if the prophet more beautiful. Beautiful. Beau what? Beauty. Full. Muslims, do you think I should follow Muhammad because he is pretty? He's so beautiful. A man, he is beautiful. 
So you Muslim men, you describe your prophet as a beautiful. I should be ashamed of myself. Why? It's you who's saying he's beautiful. What's wrong with you? And he's whiter than the moon. Isn't it you in the hadith says that his uh, underarm was so white? I mean, how the guy he saw his underarm? Hmm? What about the nipples of the Prophet? Who want to call me and describe the nipple of the Prophet Muhammad? I mean, if his face like this, his nipple would be like what? I heard, but I'm not sure, that Muhammad, he came from the land of Nepaline. But I cannot confirm that, by the way. All right? So he was so right. And then what happened to this guy? He looked at the moon, what happened? Hmm. What the Bible says, Faye, are you stupid? I just answer you. There's nowhere in the Bible we speak about such a thing because it's not important. Jesus is our God, and it doesn't matter what his color is. If Jesus was African, I will follow him. If Jesus came as Asian, I will follow him. If Jesus came as white, I will follow him. Only foolish, racist, stupid people ask such a question. This is a literally a foolish question. And I answer you already. He repeated. I said nowhere in the Bible is speaking about such a thing. And I told you why. And then you keep repeating. I'm not a Muslim. I just I want to ask you this. He said, I just told you. Nowhere in the Bible it speak about such a thing. Because this is not important for us as a Christians. We are not racist. Only people who are racist, they will speak about a look and color. A racist person, he will see me as an Arab. He will not see me as a human. He will see me by what he thinks it's a race. Even Arab is not a race. A racist man, he is white, he will see a black man as a black. Not as a human like him, because he's racist. Same as a black man. He will see if he is racist, the black man is racist. Then he will see the white man as a white man and he hate him. So if you are racist, you see colors. If you are not racist, you see human. You see your brother in Christianity or in God or in humanity. Only racist people care for what is the color of Jesus. And those people, they are not good. The Bible says, because of Jesus, there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew. The Greek, they used to think they are the highest. And the Hebrew are the same. They are chosen people of God. So there is no Greek, there is no Hebrew. Those are the two highest. With Jesus, no, there is no, no such a thing. And there is no free and there is no slave, for all is one in Jesus. The free and the slave in the front of Jesus is equal. So you are a black slave or white slave. You are free or not, still is the same. You are Greek or Hebrew, still the same. So the Greek is no better than the slave. The Roman is not a better than a slave. The Hebrew is not better than a slave. And the slave is not better than any of them. For all of us, we are one. This is what the Bible teaches, and this is the value of a Christ. Anyone will go out of this line, he is no Christian. And all of us, we knew that bad people exist. It doesn't matter what your color. I met people who they are black and they are wonderful. And I met people black, they are not good. And I met people who they are white, they, are, they, they were so bad. And I met people who they are white, they are so wonderful. That's why my friend, the Bible says, from their fruits, you shall know them. Not from their color. The Muslims, they worship Muhammad and they try to beautify him because they worship an image of a white man. They will not accept a prophet not to be a good looking in their description. As you see, they are praising how white he is. 
But the devil, he can come as someone good looking. And by the way, Muhammad was not a good looking. All this description is just because they worship him. Who care about how white he is? And the guy, he started crying. He looked at the moon. At the moon, and I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, and he said, Wallah, moon. And I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, and I looked at his face, and moon, and I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, and I looked at his face, moon, and I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, and I looked at his face, and I looked at the moon, and he said, Are you going to continue until tomorrow? What the heck is that? I want to see if he look as bad as he sound. I don't know, Yusuf, your sisters in Islam, they keep sending me emails saying, I hate you, I hate you, even if your voice is so sexy. So I'm not sure about you speaking about how bad in sound I am. Are you sure? So why your sister keeps sending me emails saying, I hate you, I hate you, Christian Prince, even if your voice is so sexy. So you think I sound bad? Are you sure? So why your sisters in Islam say the opposite? Huh, maybe they are trying to deceive me, make me feel, you know, maybe get into the trap, you know, so they can, you know, like make me convert to Islam, shish kebab, hummus, falafel, you know, and we get them, we do boom, boom, muta. Ah, oh, okay, I got it now. So thank you for telling me that I sound bad. Okay, okay, all right. You know, after your sister start doing that to me, I start singing, uh, but now I'm not going to sing. You know, I used to sing the song like, Oh, mommy, oh, mommy, mommy blue, oh, mommy blue, barbecue, barbecue, you Muhammad, you are my barbecue. Do you think about this song? I don't know. And then sometime I get like some happy of singing, but you know when I'm alone, so I, because my voice is not good as you know, so I sing like, uh, by the river of Babylon, Muhammad sat down, he got busted, he looked like a clown, by the river of Babylon, Muhammad went down. He was so spanked by a bunch of clowns. La 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 la. So I don't know if my sound sounds so bad for you. I hope you forgive me, brother. Are you debating about my voice? I debate about anything. Just this is throw something off me. I will get you busted. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he want to see how I look like, see if I sound like I'm bad. My, my friend, don't you must believe that the creation of Allah is beautiful anyway? Are you accusing your God, Allah, that you do not know how to create people? Mean, mean, mean. What a potato. What a load of a crap. I was reciting the Quran. Shame on you. What you know, what are you what's wrong with you isn't it Allah okay let me recite the Quran for you in different uh, they, uh, the Quran was sent in seven letters listen by the tower of Babylon Harut sat down he opened school for all Muslim clown to teach magic he gave ajwa Muslims they learn how to try for two town. Don't ask me what is the last word. Is it just just to like Muhammad with the ram? So isn't your God? He sent two angels, Harut and Marut, in the Babylon tower. What's wrong with you? You're making fun of the Quran, quite crap. May Allah grab you. Maybe you can call me and tell me what what uh, what's up with those two angels who open Harabuter school. 
you know what? Honestly, I like to do, learn how to do magic, especially if this magic is very good. I mean, Allah is a decent God. So he said to himself, those people are bored, you know? Everybody is happy, happily married. So what I will do? Huh. Okay, I will send Harut and Marut. They are Armenian. From Armenia, brother. Okay. How I know they are Armenian? Their last name end with the bubble jian. Okay, Harut and Marut. So Harut, brother. Uh, uh, here we go. Harut and Marut, brother. They open a school. And the purpose of the school, which is sent by Allah, is to teach men how to do magic so they can cause separation and divorce between wife and husband. You know what? Those lawyers in America, if they can find what magic he is doing, they will pay you a lot, especially those divorce lawyers. They will make everybody go and divorce and come to their office. So look at this good God, Allah. Allah is bored. I'm going to do something good for a human. Hmm, what I would do, what I would do. Okay, Harut, call Marut and come here. Yes, sir. Harut came. Where is Marut? He's coming, sir. He's eating falafel. Okay, when you finish falafel, you go down to earth and you teach people magic. Open a school. Give certificate. And this, you teach him only how to separate between the wife and the husband. How teach the wife how she can throw high heel shoes at her husband when she is in the kitchen. And then the husband, he will get so angry from her and he will ask for divorce. What a magical religion, man. So God, look at the noble purpose, a plan of God. This is a godly plan. I mean, do you see how Allah, he loved the Muslim family? He sent the most two skilled angels in magic. Harut and Marut, and where he sent them? In the Tower of Babel. Which is normal, you know, because the tower is so high. It's the elevator of God. I mean, those angels, they cannot come down by the parachute. They need a tower of Babel. Hey, Muslims, do you know why Allah, he chose Babel? What do you know? Huh? Is that like a legend there? You know, somebody, he mentioned a story of two angels. They came in the Babylon Tower. Muhammad, he copied it. He put it in the Quran as usual. Hmm? Are you there, Muslims? School? To divorce the wife and the husband? Are you sure? You just want to anger gods. Gods? Yeah, how many gods you have? Chosen ones. Choose ones. That's deep. You know, Harut, sorry, Muhammad. What if I do black magic for you now? Even I don't have a hair from your anus. Do you know that I have the power to control you by magic? Okay, guys, let us make an experiment. Muhammad, if you are not afraid from the magic which I learned from the Tower of Babylon by Harut, peace be upon him, and Marut, peace be upon her, call me in Skype, and in the beginning, you will feel you are being hepatitized. Hepatitized, what kind of English is that? Anyway, whatever the word is. Hepatize, hepatize. So I will hepatize you first. You know, I will make you look at camel urine in a, in a ball. And I will shake it like left and right. You focus with your eyes, huh? Focus. Camel urine in the ball. Lift it, light, lift, right, lift, right, lift. And then you will start noticing you are going to get a cross in a cross eyes. And then you will feel asleep. And then that's it. You are under my control. Using the magic of Harut and Marut. And then the brother. I will make you go to your bank account. You type your credit card and your password. 
and you send me all the camel urine in your bank account, brother. And I will tell you the verse in the Quran that the judgment day is near. It's almost in the corner. So you do not need money and you send all your money. What do you think? I think we have a plan. How did Muhammad PBUH copy when he is illiterate? I do not need to read and write to copy what you just said, Abdul. You say to me, I copy it. <laughs> I mean, people are people. They say really silly stuff. Do I need to know how to write? How to read? The guy was not writing. The was the guy was saying. He was saying what he heard. So are you saying to me, your prophet, he was illiterate, even his ears? Uh, the prophet, he was illiterate even in hearing. He hear nothing. He is like those monkeys who see nothing, hear nothing, say nothing. That's beautiful. Look at the strong question. How did Muhammad PBUH, this is a kind of a chemical, I think, acid, something. Copy when he was illiterate. Well, he can hear it. <laughs> Same time, who is the stupid he said to you that Muhammad is illiterate? Can you show me? Nowhere, either in the Quran or in the Hadith, says Muhammad was illiterate. What the Quran says that Muhammad was Ummi, Ummi, which means pagan. Pagan. The Jews, they call those who they are pagan Gomai. So you Muslims, you do not know what Ummi mean, and you thought this is illiterate. Read your book, learn from a Christian prince. Ignorant people. Chapter 2, verse number 78. The illiterate is the one who do not know the book of God, not the one who do not know how to read, how to write, you idiot Muslims. You do not even know how to understand your book. Anyone who do not know the book, the book of who? The book of God is illiterate. Those Abdul, who they are Bedouin, they do not know, they don't have a civil education, they don't have a civil life. They read the word, it says Ummi, Ummi is illiterate. No. Ummi have nothing to do with illiteracy. Ummi is the one who do not know the book. This is why the Quran called the Christians people of the book and call all the Muslims illiterate, not only Muhammad. But if they dispute with you, say, I have surrendered myself entirely to Allah. So whoever one who follow me and say to those who have been given the book and the unlearned, the illiterate. So there is two kinds of people. People who they are illiterate, illiteracy about God, and those who they have the book, those are the Christian and the Jews. The Abdul, they take the word illiterate and they had it. That's mean all Muslim illiterate too. So not a single place in the Quran saying Muhammad is illiterate. But the Quran saying Muhammad is pagan. Christians are people of the book. You are pagan, even in your book. You are illiterate. Illiteracy that you don't have God. Chapter 3, verse number 75, saying the same. People of the book and the illiterate. Who is the illiterate? The Muslims. Who is the one have a book? The Christians. The translation here is very funny. It says uh, the, the one who followed the book. That's stupid. The people of the book. The people of the book. You can't even find a decent translation for the stupid book. And even when Muhammad, he was dying, he said, bring me a paper and a pen, which means ink. So I will write for you a book. This is the last thing Muhammad supposed to, like one of the few things he said before he was dying.
give me a paper and a pen and I will write for you something you will never be lost after how Muhammad why he's asking for paper and the pen when he is dying and he will write if he is illiterate and then Umar al-Khattab he says Qad hajar al -rasul. hajar mean he lost his mind he's making fun of him and he said or, you know, we have only the Quran and that is enough. That is sufficient. Guys, how I'm going to sleep today? It's already 4, 11 a.m. I got an idea. I think if I take one bowl or one cup of camel urine and then uh, two cup of uh, uh, ajwa and then three nagla seed I think that will fix all the problems in my life especially the nagla seed I mean you know I will tell you by the way a secret I, you know I used to be uh, I have a like a very tough disease you know I went to the doctor he said to me that your heart which is in the right side we could not find it we found only the one in the left side and that made me feel really bad so he said but listen I think there is a solution still you have hope I said please doctor what he said you eat nagla seed I said what is that you're being racist now what you are saying nagla seed are you like what what's wrong with you he said no 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 you know in, in Arabic they call it the the black seed you know but in English we call it nagla seed. I said, oh, okay. So you did not avoid saying the black because you are racist, huh? You don't want to say that something good is coming from the black seed. Are you racist or what? He said, no. The Prophet Muhammad, he said that nagla seed have cure for any disease. He said, even my missing heart, which is cannot be found in the right side. He said, even that. And listen, I took the nagla seed. I took only one. I swear by the shoes of Allah. And his ear, and his nose, and his toes, and his shin. And then, brother, a week after, I went to the hospital. They took uh, like something called uh, uh, sex ray. Sex ray? No, not sex ray. Box ray. No, no. Uh, Trax ray. Anyway, as Prophet George Biden, he says, you know the thing, you know, yeah, X-ray, X-ray, yeah. So they took X-ray and they found that I have a heart in the right side. It's there. It wasn't there, you know. And all of this because I took one nagla seed, just one. So now I have two hearts. I have one in the right side and one in the left side. I can show you. Look, look, look. You don't believe me. You know, you guys, you don't believe me, don't you? Crazy people, I mean, what's wrong with you? I mean, why why my story does not make sense to you, but the story of Muhammad going to the moon in the top and the flying, so, you know, seven galaxies in the top of a flying uh, moon, flying the donkey, sorry, and uh, Suleiman, he have a flying carpet, and in the top of it, 600,000 share makes sense. Why Muslims are not being fair, you know? No, no, I'm telling you, this is a true story, you know, like, you know, and then I said to the doctor, what would happen if I have, like, I took two seed? He said, then you will have a three hearts. I said, no way. He said, yeah, don't do that. I said, why? He said, because then uh, you will have a lot of pumping, you know, like pump, 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 you know. And, you know, the guy, the foreign minister, the, the uh, Trump, he, his name, uh, Pompino, you know. Why? Because he took three necklace seed. So... Like he said, you will be like uh, Pompino, you know, you know, if you do take a uh, three seed. So I said, okay, so I should not take like, let's see the three, like, like only one. He said, yeah. And you take it only like once, uh, once uh, a week, you know, because if you take it twice a week, uh, then uh, even you might uh, grow some other stuff. I said, like what? He said, I, sorry, I cannot tell you it's dirty, you know, and he know, like I'm very young, so he did not tell me. So, but I, I got it, you know, I said like, so are you saying if I ate three, two, like in one week, it, something will grow? 
He said, we, we're going to talk about it. Sorry, this is like not, you know, it's not good for your age, you know. Uh, and I think he was talking about my nose. I'm not sure, you know. But I was trying to think about what is he's talking about, what he's talking about. Yeah, but all of this, look, the prophet, he can solve any problem. Neglacy, look, a cure for any disease except death. And I don't know how death is a disease. But anyway, the prophet, he ever said, he discovered that. Who told him that? Allah. And still those kuffar, the Christians, the Jews, the Hindus, the Buddhists, don't accept Muhammad medical knowledge. They tried to hide the truth. It's, look at this, so beautiful, you know. Yeah, cure, you know, cure. Just, just one seed, subhanallah, subhanallah. One seed can solve all the problem. And actually, once, uh, I will tell you a story. You know, I did not pay for the electric bill, so that is, they gave me a warning: if you don't pay by etc., I will we will cut the you know electricity. And then the guy, the employee, he came, you know, and he said, "Sorry, I have to cut the electricity for you." But look what I did: I put one necklace seed next to the uh, meter. When the guy he saw the necklace seed, he looked around him. He thought, "I'm not watching." You know, I have security camera looking at him. He looked. There's nobody. He took the necklace seed and he forgot totally about my electricity. And until now, I have it for free. <laughs> Unbelievable. So like, you know, since then, the guy, he forgot totally about my, he never come back. That's it, you know. One necklace seed, he lost his mind. You should see when he put it in his mouth, his eyes started flipping like a, like a, wee, 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 wee. And you know, when he went back to the truck to go, he took my car. Instead of his truck, it's stupid. I still have called. True story, by the true story. You know, and like what the heck? But I did not call because my car is old, you know, old, and his tr his truck is so nice, full of tools. So I said, even that is even better. I hope he will never be back. You know. So anyway, until now, I'm driving the truck of the, you know. So like he took uh, my car, and because I left the keys there, just I forgot to tell you in, in the story. You know. <laughs> so he took the car, and. Uh, uh, I forgot to tell you too that my car doesn't have a good brake, so I'm not sure what happened to him. You know what you know what I mean. You know, <laughs> hey Muslims, what is different between this story and all the stories Muhammad he told you? Any story Muhammad he said have any proof of it? All those stupid, crazy stories. Suleiman have a flying carpet. Why? Okay, why Suleiman have a flying carpet? Muhammad don't have one. I mean, what Allah will lose if he cut one meter from this massive carpet for Suleiman and he gave it to Muhammad? At least they can go picnic with Aisha. You know, she's six years old. Imagine you take your beautiful six years old wife in the top of a flying carpet like Alibaba. And you go to the park or to the beach or to Walmart. Mm. True stories. If you read the story of the flying carpet, you will go crazy. Unbelievable. The army of Suleiman is something you cannot even imagine. Brother, the army of Suleiman contain three armies. One is a human and one is birds. And one is genie and shaitan. Imagine if I have such an army. What I can do with it. Even shaitans, they work for Prophet Suleiman. Chickens, ducks. Walk, 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 walk. The account of Suleiman so beautiful, 
Look at this. He controlled the wind, brother. He taught him the language of the birds. The bird was saying to me, Quran, I'm crying. Very sensitive. Yeah. And then, brother, here you will see it says, He has narrated that shaitans had made for Suleiman one pasarang, long platform of gold and silk. Look, the carpet is made from gold and silk, brother. This is a carpet. Now we are talking. And also made a pulpit in the middle of the platform, full of gold, in which he used to sit and around him see Suleiman he put gold under his ass and we don't have one piece that's not fair there were 3,000 3, shears of gold and silver all of this in the top of flying carpet remember and these, do these days look at these days huh the prophet used to sit on golden chairs. Oh, at that days like that. Uh -huh. And the ulama, which means the sheikhs, they said, they sit on silver chairs. Uh -huh. Sheikh Uthman was sitting in silver, but he don't know Arabic or Hebrew. Okay, no problem. Around them, all human, all human, all. And shaitan, even shaitan there. And jinn, they stand up, jinn. Jin, they don't sit down, they shut down. Come on, they are shaitan, they don't need to sit. And the birds, they shade them with their wings. Look at this movie. <laughs> Brother, who can beat that story? Look, it's perfect. He is sitting on gold. 3,000 chairs around him, all made of gold. And there is they sit in the scholars who, the, no, the scholars, they sit in the silver. And the shaitans, they are standing. The, the birds are flying in the top of them and they keep them under the shade. And don't forget the puko as a blessing. The breeze, Saba, carried it's according to capacity of this in the sky for one month journey from among from the morning to the evening look how far the distance man look at this here it says that Suleiman kingdom Allah gave Suleiman a kingdom from the east to the west and he ruled for 700 years, brother. Suleiman, he ruled for 700 years and 7 days, and 7 minutes and 7 seconds. All right? And 7 months. Look, 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 look. What is the 7 days? Every mass, only 700 years? I mean, well, don't you think this is too much? I mean, early? I mean, where, where are you going? Suleiman, you are leaving after a 70. Only? Come on, man. And then every man and jinn and Satan and devil and bird and wild animal, they were subservient to his command. Man, Suleiman, he commanded he command the chicken. He chicken, come here. Pok, pok, pok. He command the rabbit. Rabbit, come here. He's come here. You know, what is the carrot? Who ate the carrot from the kitchen? Don't move your lips. I'm talking to you. Talk to me. I speak your language. He have control of all the creatures. And he been given the knowledge of everything. Suleiman army. Look at this. Faye, I'm not getting tired about Islam. What's your problem, man? Get out of here, you idiot. You are like a bug. What is the color of Jesus? Aren't you tired talking about Islam? If I am not tired about Islam, why? I mean, why you are here? I mean, people are stupid, man. Don't get married. 
your wife, she will leave you. Because you will say to her, aren't you tired being with me? And she will say to you, you are right, get out. Like Christian Prince, he bounced you and blocked you. Get out of here. And then Suleiman army was 100 parsang. This is like a long distance, 3,500 mile long. That's so short. Brother, 3,500 miles. You can cross USA and go to Canada and still the army of Suleiman is going. Only the army of Suleiman, this is just the long, not the how wide. 3,500 mile long. Can somebody... Uh, Convert 3,500 miles to kilometer. Hold on. Oh boy! Somebody convert the number for me. I'm not. I'm not good in uh, uh, mathematics and geography. Search it in Google. Talk about the Jews, hey, my friend. I can't talk about the Jews. What the problem? Are you trying to make me like? Are you saying to me, take a break from my stupid prophet and talk about the Jews? At least the Jews they believe in my God. You Muslims are pagan. What I would do, brother Jack Shalom, he believe in my God. You Muslims are pagan. It's five thousand six hundred thirty-two kilometers. That's very short. I'm really disappointed. Only five thousands. Uh, Lexer, are you sure? Only. You know what? You know, I mean, this my army is even longer than this. What the heck? You know, and that like I, I don't want to tell you, but I have a, you know, I have a neighbor. Uh, she is a female actually uh, she's a queen you know she is she's like a very from big family and family so she told me if you need to go to war anything I can line for you more than 6,000 kilometer of army of ants you know so this is nothing I mean I, I'm really disappointed so all this drama and it, that's all 5,632 kilometer only? Brother, what they eat? <laughs> I mean, Muslim stories are true stories. Listen, show me a verse that Jesus says, I'm God. A Muslim is like a camel. He don't see the hump in his back. He's worried about if Jesus says he is God or not. Only man, I can go to the China and come back twice before I reach. Okay, how what the distance from America to China? Somebody tell me, let me ask Google. Hold on, what is the distance from New York to China, Beijing? 6,842 kilometer mile. Oh, see, uh, actually, it's shorter, it's shorter. Yeah. So, like, okay, so, you know. Okay. But this is from New York. If you go from uh, San Francisco, you will be fine. You know, exactly. You can go from San Francisco. Uh, this is how long the army of Surima. So, you can fly for 16, 17 hours in the airplane, 19 hours. And still, you did not reach the end, even though you are going in the speed of the airplane. Still, you did not re reach the end of the army of Suleiman, which is containing birds, genie, human. And look, 25% of those are human, 25% are genie, 25% are desert animals. Look, there's desert animal. 25% are birds. And now we have 100%. 
And look, look at the house. I love the house. 1,000 houses of glass. Look at the technology. At that time, Suleiman, he have houses made of glass. Huh. He like to see the weather, the rain, you know. You have to have sex on the air so everybody is watching, or even the neighbors. We are made above wood. Ooh. Huh. Are you sure you are not talking about Bali? I saw something like that in Bali, you know. Last time I went to Singapore, I was like very close to, to Indonesia. They told me like, if you go there, you know you are going to be in Indonesia. I said, if I go there, where I will be? They said, Malaysia. I said, if I go there, where I will be? They said, in jail. <laughs> so I changed my mind. Anyway, anyway. So brother, uh, and then there is in them, there's a 300 wives and 700 slave girls lived Suleiman used to order a strong wind to lift the house and order the soft wind to move the house slowly so man strong wind soft wind beautiful look at the harmony the strong wind carrying the flying carpet the soft wind carrying the house so beautiful music I feel like Sadhguru now relax is Sadhguru in one of those rooms and those white females from Los Angeles there and all of them they have like a lot of you know you know makeup and etc and they are doing yoga if they are there I want to go there too and they are rich and they pay a lot to Sadhguru to make them enjoy yoga. And for sure, Sadhguru, he enjoy a lot of things too. Therefore, Allah revealed to him when he was between the heaven and the earth. He said to him, I have increased your kingship in such a way that if anybody speak in any part of the kingdom, the wind will make this conversation reach toward you. Look at this, a flying carpet with the most scary, sensitive radar. Any, anybody in the kingdom, even if he fought, Suleiman will hear the farting. I hope that the Pentagon will not try to find what technology Allah was using. And then because of that, Suleiman was a flying, and then one of the ants she spoke. And this is a story we should tell you maybe in some other time. Hmm. You said the Bible agrees in the Quran about the crucifixion. In the Quran actually, but Jesus of where Jesus was crucified. My friend, I said, the stupid Muhammad, when he made that verse in the Quran, he admitted that the crucifixion of Jesus is, is something happened because it says it made appear to them. So this is what people saw. And what people saw is the truth. When you go to the court, what he asks you, did you see the guy killing this guy? If you say, I saw, that means this is true. If you say I did not see, it means it's a fiction. So when the stupid Quran says it was made to appear to them, so it confirmed what they saw. And what they saw? That Jesus was crucified. So the author of the Quran is a stupid idiot. Anyway, did we have a good time, guys? How many hours we are here? Only six hours and 21 minutes? No way. Six hours and 38 minutes. Uh, I cannot leave that early. Hmm. I thought it's already like eight hours or something. Only six hours? That's not good. I know these days I'm, my videos are really short. I should, uh, I don't know, I should make it long really.
I mean, short video. Who's going to watch a short video? Yeah, maybe I, 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 will, I will try to do some sport to get stronger and eat neglect seeds so I can stay longer here, you know? For like now, I cannot really stay long more than eight hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, you know? But uh, maybe if Allah, He gave me energy, I will be able to stay like, you know, maybe 20 hours, you know, a few hours, short hours, long hours. And as you see, my Skype is open and all those hours we have only one Abdul, he decided to call me. Uh -oh. the, the rest, they don't even hear me and they are not here. Anyway, guys, I want to say thank you all for being here. I hope we have a good time. And the funny is that the Muslims, they have a live TV stations and they have only 24 people watching. TV station about Allah, only 24 people watching. Oh boy. Don't forget to subscribe if you like if you don't like my channel and don't forget to unsubscribe if you like my channel because we are Arab we like to do things in the opposite way. And if you don't like my channel don't forget to make a comment and if you like my channel don't forget to make a comment because I like to see the comment who they don't like me meet with the comment which they like me and I like to see a fight between the comments, you know? So comment if you like me and comment if you don't like me and let us see the comment fighting and that the, like, you know, and this is how we can enjoy boxing uh, match for free. And uh, just wait for the Muslims when they make a comment, they will say, I challenge you. Oh, you know, you Christian worship uh, the three God. One plus one uh, plus one is equal to one. <laughs> Crazy Christians. The same question they repeat again and again because of camel urine. It doesn't matter how many times you answer them, they never heard anything. They will come tomorrow with the same question. And then we give them the same answer. And they come again with the same question. And in Christian Prince, he will give them the same spanking. <laughs>
Liu did not. Liu did not even pick up a girl. That was a female goat, young one. Muhammad, he was half blind, so he did not notice. But anyway, Muhammad, by time, he was able to learn English, and he taught the whole world English. As an example, Shakespeare, the one, the famous one, he is an Arab. His real name is Sheikh Isper. I'm telling you, al Qazafi he said that. al Qazafi the president of Libya, he said Sheikh Isper. His real name is Sheikh Isper. And even the word democracy is coming from Allah, Prophet Muhammad. al Qazafi he said, the origin of this word is democracy, which means bring the chairs. Wow. So even those are coming from Allah, Prophet unbelievable so you notice here the more you study Islam brother the more you see that you have no carpet underneath of you it turned to be that your English is not English you are a Hindu even the red dot between your two eyes that because the Prophet he used to do practice target uh, targeting at the angels of real and uh, sorry Israfil so Israfil uh, the Prophet he used to like practice uh, you know uh, targeting and he put a red dot between his uh, two uh, eyes. And then Israfil, because he got dizzy, he fell down in India. And the Indian, they look at this guy. Oof, what is this in his uh, forehead? They like it. They start copying and they start putting this red dot in forehead. Uh, because Israfil, by the way, he was married. All right. So even the red dot of the Hindus is coming from Prophet Muhammad. I mean, anything, anything around you, the source of it is coming from Prophet Muhammad. As an example, a Korean, they eat kimchi. Where kimchi coming from? From Prophet Muhammad. He say Kim, she, you know, even the word Kim, like, you know, Korea, everybody, his name is Kim. Everybody, even the president, the president, the driver, the, the guy in the airport, uh, the falafel, everybody is Kim. So Muhammad, he went to Korea. He noticed everybody is there. His name is Kim. And, uh, you know, like, so like, you know, he said, okay, the, you know, this is the food made by Kim. And uh, it was a girl, so it's she. So he called it kimchi. And then the Korean, they copied the name from Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and uh, now became a very famous name. And they copy paste, you know, yeah, yeah, what a shame. They, they, they steal the copyright of uh, Prophet Muhammad and they added, you know. Anyway, I can give you endless stories about what uh, the word they stole from Prophet Muhammad. Everything, uh, like even toilet paper, it was not toilet paper, but this is a different story. I don't want you to hear about it at the end of the night. Uh, so, anyone here do not believe any of the stories I just mentioned to you? If you don't believe in it, you have a problem. You need to see a shrink or a doc. Honestly, you really have a problem. I mean, we have evidence for those things. All of those things, you know, it's true. But, you know, it's hard to convince the kuffar. Who is the one who discovered electricity? Prophet Muhammad. You know, like when... When they asked him about uh, the, the uh, chapter 13, verse 13, he said, the thunder is an angel. He's an angel. So uh, Prophet Muhammad, he discovered that all the electricity in the world is coming from the angel. His name is Thunder, Rad. And they asked him, what about the fire belt we see? He said, this is a fire belt or the fire we see. He says, this is a fire belt. He beat the cloud with it. Hmm. So the Prophet Muhammad discovered two elements in one class. Electricity and beating the cloud. And today, I did beat you all with seven hours speaking to you and none of you felt bored. Did we? I hope so. I hope we did not feel bored. I want to say thank you all and I wish to see you soon again and... Uh, uh, I feel sorry for you, Muslims. Your prophet, he cannot handle the truth. Santa Claus is real, and Allah is not. See ya.